Festers. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You're watching the 4 p.m. stock market update right here on TFNN. Uh, let's take a look at what we got going on for the day, where we're ending up. The composite up about 0.27% at 19,054. The Dow Jones Industrial up about 0.99% at 44,736. You have the SPY trading up 0.28% at 597. That dollar is still, uh, well, let's see. A little bit of strength at the end of the day there, but really coming off from that major top up there around that 108 level. Uh, let's see, you have crude oil off about 3.05%. Yeah, so the thing with Iran and OPEC Plus is said that, uh, you know, we were trying to cut production essentially, and this stabilizes prices to some certain extent, but then U.S. shale was just like, nah, we're just going to keep producing. And now for OPEC Plus to kind of get in and restore historical production levels, they're, they're not going to be able to do it at, at a majorly profitable um, level, which is kind of crazy. Finance a surge of U.S. shale climbed by 2 million barrels a day since 2020. And he's like, this is the guy of OPEC from uh, Iran saying like, I, we, don't, we don't see how we're going to be able to increase supply production. Kind of crazy to think about, right? And I mean, America is a major major player now um it has been for a while but it, it remains to to be that let's see here we have gold contract off about 3.12 percent at 2627 you have copper up about 0.47 percent at four dollars ten cents silver at thirty dollars 38 cents off about 3.06 anything else cool for the day let's see lucid finishing at 333 i just want to look at rivian real quick so i can sleep better tonight up 10.7, oh wow, 12.79 percent, eleven dollars and fifty four cents. Uh, what is that story with with Macy's? An accounting employee had up one hundred and fifty four million dollars in delivery expenses, and now they have to wait till what? I think they're supposed to release their quarterlies tomorrow, and they have to wait till December eleventh. Now it's a round air, you know. It happens to the best of us, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll be joined tomorrow morning by Tommy O'Brien, nine a.m. for the morning market kickoff. Followed by Basil Chapman at 10, Steve Rhodes at 11 Eastern Time, Larry Pisavento, and then myself with Basil Chapman and Tim Ward at 3 p.m. We'll see you there.